EGF-beta is a signaling molecule. It has important roles during the embryonal development and in wound healing. And it is also impl implicated in, in cancer. And in a complicated way, because uh, initially TGF-beta is a tumor suppressor. It inhibits cell growth and it promotes cell suicide, apoptosis. But at later stages, TGF-beta becomes a tumor promoter. And it facilitates uh, cancer cell invasiveness and metastasis. And therefore, we and others are trying to learn more about the exact mechanisms whereby TGF-beta causes all these different effects and also to be able to use this knowledge in order to selectively inhibit the protumogenic signaling pathways while not perturbing the tumor suppressive ones. So there are already attempts to use, uh, on one hand, low molecular weight kinase inhibitors that inhibits the kinase activity of the TGF-beta receptors clinically. And there are also um, larger molecules, antibodies that uh, recognize TGF-beta, as well as ligand traps that also can uh, bind and inhibit TGF-beta. Uh, this is uh, at a rather early stage still. There are some ongoing phase one and phase two clinical trials using the low molecular weight uh, kinase inhibitors. And the, the results look interesting. Well, since TGF-beta has pronounced effect both on tumor cells and on immune cells and on cells in the vasculatory system, it is possible to use TGF-beta inhibitors to achieve inhibition of several stages in the, immune, in the, in the tumor progression. Um, for instance, the inhibition of the inhibitory effect of the immune system, which prevents the immune system to attack cancer, is very interesting. So inhibitors of TGF-beta could make the, the immune system more aggressive, thereby more capable of killing tumor cells.